All right, now, let's, let's just see if you got the idea. Look at, I'm going to put the two pictures back up. Uh, but, but just remember, S-D-C-A-F-T. S-D-C-A-F-T. That's the augmenting path. You see it? S-D-C-A-F-T. And positive, positive, negative, negative, positive. Okay, change those amounts by three. Okay, now let's go back out to the main desktop. So everybody look at this, but in your mind, imagine the updated figure with those edges increased by three, SD, DC, and the edges CA and AF decreased by three. Now, start the labeling algorithm over. What would you label? Well, I'd label S. Wouldn't you label E, D, and G? Those would be labeled. Because I can label E, I would label B. Because I can label D, I'd label C. Because I label D, I could label, I could label G. So I've got S, E, B, D, G, and C. Ah, now because I can label C, I'd label A. So I can label everything except F and T. Everything except F and T. Okay, now, what's the capacity of that cut? What's the capacity of that cut? So take all these vertices in L, and R just consists of F and T. What's the capacity of that cut? It's the edges which go in this direction. 15 and 12 is 27. 27 plus 48 is exactly 75. And that's the current value of the flow. So we just found not only the maximum flow, but we have the minimum cut at the same time. That's pretty powerful, isn't it? OK, now, I strongly encourage you to look over the test archive and the book where numerous examples are given in one or two cases, I take a modest size one and just say, start from scratch and work your way through it. But most of the examples have been made up sort of like these two, that I get you to some intermediate point where you're close to the end. Because I don't need you to work through this a hundred times to see whether or not you really understand it. Once is enough or maybe twice to see if it halts. So many of the examples are crafted just like the two that we've done here in the lecture. So if you look on the test archive, you will see many problems, and you will see them Tuesday next week. I give you a network with a flow on it, and I'll ask you questions. Is this edge empty? Is this edge full? I'll specify a cut, and I'll say, what's the capacity of this cut? I'll say, what is the value of the current flow? And all of these things you should be able to answer, just like this. Then I will say, carry out the ford fulkerson labeling algorithm in the space to the right. And you will do just what we have done on this last slide and on the dot cam together. And you'll see many examples in the archive that are done just like that. Now, this is turn the crank stuff, but it's a pretty sophisticated crank. Are there any questions about how to carry out the Ford Fulkerson labeling algorithm on the network flow? If I gave you one on 15 vertices and gave you the capacities only and gave you the weekend, you could probably do it. 
from scratch. We're all together? All right, good. <laughs>